Hey, everybody. Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. Guess what we're going to make today? Wonderful pulled pork. That's right, we're going to smoke a pork butt. Here we go. So, folks, today we're going to smoke roast, or barbecue, a Boston butt. That's right, a pork butt, and we're going to make pulled pork at the very end of the job. Now, this is going to be an epic work, as this usually takes anywhere from 12 to 18 hours to cook one of these guys. So we're going to break it up into a few videos. The purpose of this whole thing is I have a store demonstration over at the store tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Saturday morning I have a demonstration class, we'll have 40, 50 people there and I'll be showing them how to do this and I want to have one all finished for them. So I'm going to start one now, I'm going to prep it, I'm going to roast it, and it's going to be great. I'm going to take it over there and we're going to, we're going to pull it, and we're going to show the people how to make one. Okay, and then we're all going to eat some really good stuff. So, this video could wind up being two or three parts. Uh, part of which will probably be filmed over at the store, maybe during the class, or maybe I'll do another one here and, uh, and patch it all together and make you a few videos on how to do a really good pulled pork Boston butt on your barbecue. Now we're going to use a big green egg, we're going to use some hickory wood, make some smoke, and we're going to smoke it while we're roasting it, and uh, it'll be amazing. Now, we cook these things to approximately 195 degrees. Uh, everybody has their spot, but 190 to 200 degrees internal. It's good to take them off and let them rest a little bit, maybe. And then you pull it apart, rip it all apart, chop it up, make it into some really nice sandwiches, or you can just eat it like I do with some really good barbecue sauce on it, or maybe even without the sauce, because it's just wonderful stuff. Okay, so that's about it. We got two really nice Boston butts. I'm going to prep one and roast it tonight overnight, and then I'm going to take the other one over to the store tomorrow, and we're going to have the class. By the way, if you hear some birdies chirping and some uh, blackbirds calling in the background, that's because we're in my secret test kitchen, also known as my backyard. Okay, so let's make a really nice Boston butt. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with our butt first thing we did was we took it, and isn't this beautiful? Look at this beautiful fat on here. Now that's the fat cap. Now I leave all that on there. You can trim some of it off. Some of it's already been trimmed by somebody before they put it in the cryovac. You can trim it off, but you don't have to. So this is our beautiful 10, 10, 10 pound Boston butt. And it's all nice and cleaned off. I rinsed it real good. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to inject it. Now you saw that we had the Fab P. And what we do is we mix this up earlier today, you want at least four or five hours. You mix that up one part, like one cup of fab, and two cups of apple juice. Now Joe always recommended apple juice, but he said you can use beer, or beef broth, or chicken broth, or wine, or water, or anything you want. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of like gravy. That's exactly what it's supposed to be, the consistency of gravy. And we got our Mondo injector here. And what we're going to do is, we got it all washed out real good just to make darn sure she's a clean. And we're going to inject this in a pattern. We're going to squirt as much in there as we can. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to suck up some of this here stuff. And now we're going to inject it and we go down in deep. And then as we inject it, we pull it out a little bit, out a little, a little bit, out a little, out a little. There it is. Now you want it so it's squirting out. When you get to the end, it will be squirting. We're going to go about an inch over, and we go all the way down to the bottom, we squirt a little. Then we come up, we squirt a little, and up a little, and we're squirting, and we're squirting. I can feel that thing pumping up. Okay? Grab some more. We're going to do this to the whole butt. Then we're going to put it back in the reefer three, four, five hours, and let that marinate in that wonderful magic stuff. We don't know what it is, he wouldn't tell me, but uh, he, he took the secret with him, but I think his, fa his family is definitely still selling the stuff, because we sell it at the store, and we buy it from Joe's family, and they know the secrets. 
no one else does. And you can see that running out of there, that's the way you want it. Eventually it'll start squirting out of them other holes. There you go, see that one squirting out? Just keep cranking it in there, man. The more the better. You know my saying, more is better and too much is just right. Without my neighbor's dog started barking, we're gonna fast forward ahead here. Let's see what it looks like when I'm at the end. Okay, so that about does it. You can see that's all puffy. That's all puffed up with that wonderful goodness, and it's laying in some in the bottom there. That don't matter, that's all good for it. The more that gets on there, the better. And we're gonna let this sit in the reefer for three, four hours. We're gonna come back, we're gonna rub it, and we're gonna put it on our grill.